So for anybody that's just tuning in, this is the Citadel. It is a multiplayer server. It's a whitelist server where myself and some friends do some geeky stuff in Minecraft. My name is Joel Duggan. I do some Let's Play stuff on YouTube. You can follow me there with just my name. And today we're going to be expanding this wheat field a little bit. I know we've done a lot of this recently, which is why I didn't want to include it in another video on YouTube, uh, but it's the perfect kind of thing to kind of chill out and do on a stream. So we're going to be taking care of this and I have to decide I think I have to kind of clean up the lines of this hillside before I start putting in all of the wheat. Uh, so I know that it's going to be wheat here, all the way over to here. And I'm pretty sure that I had put these cobblestone blocks in the other day when I was walking by with the idea that water source has, like, has to go underneath them and stuff. Um, so I like this line of the cliff, but then it starts to get a little bit wonky here. So I want to try and do something more gradual. Uh, and the good news is like, we're going to have to punch away this grass, which might give us some extra seeds anyway, because we're going to have to plant a lot of seeds. And then once the seeds are planted, uh, then we can, um, we can go and do something else while the wheat kind of grows up, which I think will be cool. Let me know if you're getting any kind of weird strafing on the screen. Um, my mouse and my inventory seem to be fine, but I'm getting some weird drag um, visually which, with my display. It's weird. Uh, okay, so I think we'll have to start with this particular section here. And I don't necessarily want to get rid of this wall. It sort of makes sense. Uh, I don't know if it's going to make as much sense once we get some wheat and stuff on top of it. None of these have got water inside them. They're all just covering the tops of those. Uh, but I like the height difference that it gives us. So I guess the real question is, is this a decent sort of line? Yeah, see, I want to I wanna smooth this out. This feels kind of jaggy and strange. So we've got two here, two there, another two. No. Then it goes to three and then two. Hmm. I kind of want to mess around with this a little bit and maybe take some chunks out. Because I feel like, I feel like this should be gone. That. We're probably going to end up breaking some of this wheat too. Um, so I'm okay with this because this is just going to be fenced. Uh, and all of this here is going to end up being wheat. So this is the end of the wheat, the wheat patch. So I can probably like maybe do something like this temporarily just to kind of say like this is the edge. Um, so now I just want to smooth this line out. So that's three, that's three, this is two. I feel like I want to go another, another one here. Do I have, yeah, we'll just go dirt for now. So another two there, then one. Yeah, see, this is where it, this is where it gets kind of crooked. So it has to be kind of like a, at least a few of these in a row before it changes again. I think that we can maybe do that. And then here, start to curve it the other way. I knew I was gonna break a lot of the stuff, but that's fine. So yeah, two and then two, and then this will be two again. I probably shouldn't plant a lot of stuff until we know the lines, but yeah, two, two, two. And then this way, yeah, I feel like we could maybe, could maybe even get rid of Hmm. I 
do like the fact that this has got like a couple of long ones. Maybe we turn that, turn that into a single. Actually, you know what? This might be okay. This might be all right. Maybe what we end up doing is just taking this back and putting it here. Oh, which way do I face? This way. Yeah. Yeah, and then this could be... That way it looks like this is sort of pinching the hill here, which is fine. Again, we can always change this stuff. Need this. Okay. So I think that's the line I want for this particular section. Uh, the problem, of course, we run into is that um, I don't want to have little water spots like every nine blocks or whatever. So what I was thinking would be interesting is because I really like this little waterfall that I have over here, this little guy here, I thought we could put another one up here and have something kind of coming down through underneath those trees. Be kind of fun. I did something similar uh, down at, actually, let's take a look at that. Um, I did something similar down at the greenhouse. I don't know that I've spent much time on stream at the greenhouse. So yeah, so I've got something like this kind of coming down from the mountain and going into like a little dammed pond. And I want to try to do something similar to this. I don't think this actually has like a, a logical beginning. I think it just kind of comes out of the rock somewhere. Yeah, it's just like this little mountain spring. I didn't really do much up here. Um, oh, tried to fly and it didn't work. A little laggy today. So actually, while we're up here, let's take a look at that line. Let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that it's not like straight. It's not too, it doesn't conform too much. Um, but I, I know with a lot of times when people do this, they tend to do tiers that are only like four or five wide because it allows you to uh, irrigate it easily because you can just hide water sources like under the ledge. Um, oh, thanks, Cosmic Dancer. Yeah, I think it's going to look cool. It's just a matter of, you know, where we want this thing to come in. So I'm thinking like the hardest part to irrigate is going to be the deepest part. So like this section right here is going to be the hardest part to get a lot of water through or a lot of like um, moist soil. So if we do something like this, where say it comes there, maybe here. So maybe this is like the exit of a stream. And if the stream was coming down I like this kind of like little section here with the dark trees that we could maybe have the water come out this way. And I guess it really wouldn't do much other than just zigzag just a little bit. You know, probably come out like that. And then I guess it would just kind of slowly make its way over. I want it to be quite thin, like I don't want to take up a lot of space, but it would be something like this. We'll have to figure out how to do it with different levels too, like this, the water is going to have to, one, two, because we can have it drop, I guess there would make sense, like that, so then, you know, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which means that this is going to have to be, this is temporary. We'll have to two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight. I think that's right. 
Yeah, so that so at some point, at this point, we're going to have to have the grass line come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, this is probably going to be where this new level begins. I'll have to push it a little bit. And I should probably also put torches over here so this doesn't turn into a mob farm. We'll have to figure out how to light it all too. So this is going to be a path. I'm going to have like a proper path up here. Like that. I really like this little thing. I want to try to do more, more like that. And if we have the waterfall come down, we can, we're going to have to make a bridge, which is going to be really cool. Oh, I hear a zombie. You're breaking my wheat, aren't you? Did he break anything? I don't think he did. Oh, no. No, no, no. Run away. That was really close. He would have made a huge hole, too. <laughs> it's all just dirt. There's nothing. There's hardly anything in there. Okay. Let's sleep and get rid of these these guys. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab my other bed too. Man, my coffee's getting cold already. All right, let's get the other bed so we don't have to run back and forth all the time. Maybe we'll do more work on this path once we get all the weed in. I think that'd be kind of fun. Oh, okay, need that. Yeah, like you can see, even with this, the torches, like having some wheat up there, I think is going to be cool. And yeah, like I said, I really like this path and this little bridge. Okay, so if that's the next line, then it should probably try and follow this other line here so three two three and then maybe one are you guys getting i'm getting like some weird like double camera stuff i'm getting some jitter let me know if that shows up in stream because that would be really annoying something like that Oops. I don't know what it is that causes this either. I think it's it's OBS or it's like a combo of different apps that I have open on my Mac. So then here, so one, two, well, this will hydrate a lot of this stuff. Let's see here, what would be a good good way to do it? Because I didn't realize that these will hydrate, this, this water will hydrate out, but then also one down. So all of this will be hydrated by the stream, which is really cool. I'm just trying to think about what kind of a line would make sense, I guess. Just follow the pattern. No, let's bring this back farther yeah and then maybe here and start doing this Oh man, this is hard on the eyes. <laughs> uh, dislike. I may end up starting and restarting the stream in a few minutes if this doesn't get better. 
Oh, hey, look at that. The night bot is working. Fantastic. I don't like that it jammed the URL right up against the plug, though, because it doesn't look like the URL worked. Is that clickable in chat? No. All right. Well, you know what? Next time it gets dark, I'll pop into the Nightbot controls and see if I can't fix that. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Uh, we can fill this in because this will not be, don't need to have a water source there or there. So I think that, that will kind of go the way that we want. Uh, here, what we want to do is figure out where it's going to come in. And I say we want it to zigzag a bit, so more than likely that one, and then these two, like that. Obviously, it'll go the other way. Um, we, we might switch that out so it's not a water source. And now Nightbot is spamming the chat. Fun. <laughs> okay, I'll have to make some adjustments to that, I guess. Now here we could have some fun with it going down a little bit steeper. Like I like the idea of it maybe dropping two blocks here, especially because this is going to be like a path that we walk along like this. And I don't want it to be too wide. Like I want it to be nice and narrow, kind of like this, um, because this block could end up being like a retaining wall or something cool. Uh, and then right here, where it's sort of wide, this could be like a bridge. So we'll maybe have it be just fall like that and have this be like a waterfall section. Or maybe we want to be able to look at it when we walk by. I'm not sure whether I want, I guess the waterfall should face. Yeah, I think it should go this way. So that'll probably be the waterfall there. So we'll need something like that. And so waterfall comes down here. This will be, do I have any slabs? I don't, that's all right. Let's use cobble for now. So fun little bridge there. Not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'll do it. Uh, I don't think I want to make it straight. I think I want to try to do an angled bridge, which is challenging, but we'll see what we can do. So that means that we're probably going to change this. So water comes down over that and now I guess we got to figure out where the water is going to come down. Might have to take a flight to kind of see where the best put the source. I think I might actually put like a small um, reservoir, like a little man-made thing at the very top of this just for something to kind of fly by and go, huh, what's that? Might be kind of cool. Similar to this, but a lot smaller. So let's just see. Yeah, so I think, I think, I think, I think we can maybe at least have it start somewhere around here. Like there, and then maybe we can have it cut through these, um, what are these, peonies or something? I can never remember. They are peonies, yes. So here we could actually have the water go down through the peonies, which would be really cool. And then where does it drop? Probably right down here. And then where does that come out? I think we'd want it to go this way. Yeah, so maybe... So 
something like that. It's gonna be a little bit tricky in amongst the trees, but I think coming out here and then dropping in around this tree would be good. So if I was water, I would wanna go here, probably there. It's gonna, this is gonna take a lot of fiddling, I know, but so no, don't want that. I think I'm in the right spot. No, where? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's do. Put some cobble down. Temporarily. We're also missing some birch. This is odd. That's okay. Put that. Oh, come on. There we go. So yeah, this is going to be more work than I thought, but a lot of fun. And we don't have to do the waterfall right now. We can always connect that up later. We can kind of fake it until we make it. I just kind of wanted to have an idea of where this is going to come from at least. And yes, I'd say that. I'd say that makes sense. So kind of following this cobble, cobble path down. Oops. And then maybe you have to put some grass there. Yeah, we might have to tweak things later. I think flowing water. Yeah, I think it'll look cool between the trees. Uh, so the sun's going down. Let's just jump inside the inn briefly and I will pop over to my Nightbot settings and see, I think maybe I have to put like a hyphen or something into the Nightbot settings. Let's see what I can do. Cosmic Dancer, are you coming up as a, as a moderator now? Like, does it show you as a mod? We know that Nightbot is working. I have to go to my timers and edit. And I think both of these, yeah, they both came up. There we go, let's do this. Submit that and then do the same thing. There, so that, I'm gonna leave the Nightbot window open just in case I have to revisit that. Oh, nice, cool, glad that worked, glad that worked. I uh, know as for the Nightbot stuff, um, we'll just have to wait and see. I think I've got it set for like every 15 or 20 minutes or every half an hour, depending on what thing it's promoting. It's just the spun chunks of my YouTube channel. It was more of a test just to kind of see to see what's up. Is it just you and me in the chat? I think it might be. Oh no, there's a couple other people watching. The lurkers. Which is fine. Uh, don't know if that's as interesting as I want it to be. This might end up having to be a little bit farther out. Just for the sake of the path. Okay, well, I think what I wanna do now is I wanna put in at least one bit of the, the bottom part of the waterfall just so we can get an idea about where the wheat's gonna go. So let's put a, this is not gonna be, it's not gonna be a wheat, so we can do like a water source, infinite water source thing here. And 
thinking I'll just put one here for now and see what happens. Does what I thought it was going to. Beautiful. Almost. Almost, almost. So I miscalculated that. Okay. So let's get rid of this. That's okay. And let's get rid of you. And I think maybe we should pull that back a little bit too. It's always tricky with like the water physics and stuff. Like technically, This is what I want. I don't know if it'll stay. There we go. It's not bad. I think I might push it back a little bit. Um, but that's fine. It's more it's more this bottom stuff uh, that I want to get going. So like from this point, so this is all the same. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So that's the problem don't necessarily want that to be higher. I mean, the thing we could always do is put another water source somewhere here, but I just, I'd rather, hmm, tricky. Oop, close my chat room. Uh, yes, Cosmic Dancer, I did pop it into the Discord. Um, I put it in the announcement section just because I thought that was the better place for it. We're looking at getting a bot for the Discord that'll that'll put an announcement in both or in the Spawn Chunks uh, Discord for when myself or when Pixel Rifts go live uh, on Twitch or if we post new YouTube channels or YouTube stuff just so that we don't have to, to like do it manually. Uh, hmm. So that is not particularly, I really wanted, I really wanted this to come out at a different level, but I don't want it to be this high. Hmm. I guess the thing here is we're just going to have to maybe fake it and, and add some water sources uh, here somehow. Right, like I mean, I'd be okay if if this started to come down the other way. I mean, the alternative is that this could be like a little bit of a pool, I guess, before it, it continues on. You can always do that too. I find that this stuff is, is it. You have to wing it. Like you really can't plan it out too much. You kind of just have to do with what works. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe, like if this is a water source, then it does what I want it to do. And then I can do this and then it'll do that. And then it'll flow into the things that I want. And then the only difference is that I have to make I guess one of these a water source. I just don't want it to start flowing back up. That's the only thing. Because then it looks silly. So that's that. That is that. Um, what happens if I put... Is this already a water source? And then that one. So that looks a little bit weird. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's a little strange, but you're never going to see it. So that's fine too. 
Uh, but I like the way that this is going. And I think maybe the thing to do here, so this doesn't look so screwy, is to make this into its own little thing. Yeah, I think we're just going to make that into a pond. So let's see here, we'll do water source. Then fortunately makes it look very still, but I think the only other thing to do, yeah, that's okay for now. But at least it flows out at that particular point, and I think maybe we can bring this back so it's not a weird, weird shape. Do this. Yeah. Because that, that give, then gives us a lot more coverage as far as irrigation and stuff goes. Although, that's a pretty straight line, isn't it? What if... I guess if we snake it around, then we'll lose some length on it. But I think I'd rather that. Forget that stuff flies so fast in this game in the water streams. Like, oh, the dirt's all the, way, all the way down here already. So let's do this. And yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Because um, I really want to see the water flowing down there. So I guess what we can do then is just... Add a water source here. Oh, really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that doesn't make any sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I guess we just we have to put one here too. Which sucks, because I... Well, I guess we can still see it going around the corner. There we go. That's better. Okay, this is also kind of straight. How much do we have for wiggle room here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Can't quite do the same thing. Oh well. I think we might have to leave it for now. Yeah, it, the problem with water in Minecraft, I mean, it has some predictability to it. Like, I mean, the fact that it flows eight blocks and the direction that it flows and it always seeks to go down before it seeks to go out horizontally, which I think is, is nice to know. Um, the problem is updating it, like getting this waterfall to have the shape that I want is going to just involve a lot of block placing and kind of clipping corners and trying to sort it out. And it's really not worth doing until... I have the bridge and the landscape done because ultimately it just ends up changing as you're changing other stuff. So you kind of want to, you almost want to work on like a dry riverbed first and then put the water in, you know, just kind of imagine what the water would look like. I mean, a lot of times I end up putting the water in roughly like I have there and then end up taking it out again just while I work on the area. Oh, I brought my bed with me, didn't I? I could have put it down. That was dumb. I guess it's not a very long walk. Let's put it here. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting none of the usual uh, lag issues in my um, in my inventory. Like my mouse is great here. It's it's the screen that I'm getting some. I'm not sure what you want to call it. Like drag. Double imaging dislike okay so here we're gonna get i guess i can just start um 
using the, the hoe in the soil. Because we're going to get one, two, three, four, five. So if this is waterlogged, then we get one, two, three, four. Whoops. Not you. Don't think that one will stay. Do we like that? Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't think that's going to stay there. This will, though, because I think the farthest here, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So that one might, might stay. These ones, unfortunately, I think might have to go. Like, we might have to drop these down to the next level just because I don't think we're going to be able to get these to stay hydrated. Uh, the pancakes were very good, thank you. I outdid myself this morning. They, I mean, they always turn out well, but these were particularly good. Well, I don't know if that one's going to stay. Four, 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 four. I think we can also do the side here too. So I think that's as far as we're going to get without starting to put um, other water sources in. But now that we know what the edge of this thing is, like we can do simple, simple things like putting water source underneath these. It just, I think we're going to end up with issues where it just can't quite make it uh, to the edge here. And I don't, like at that point, we might have to put something like a hay bale kind of like at this point here. So like one, two, three, four. So like that might have to be a bale of hay or a log or something. I wish it hydrated up. Like I wish it, it hydrated the other blocks, but it's only, it's only blocks even and blocks below. How did your pancakes turn out, Cosmic Dancer? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Well, here we can put stuff underneath the path. So I guess I should make sure that I want the path to do the correct thing. So this actually is going to be part of the path. So we have to move this around a little bit. So two, two. Feel like it's gonna have to be a little bit wider. And then maybe we can push this right up to the corners. Yeah, that's easy to move. Oop. 
might actually push that back a little bit. Because I think this bridge is going to be really tricky. Because ultimately the bridge might end up looking more like this. Which is weird. Say it's going to be like that shape. I don't exactly know how. It might end up actually... Maybe we'll do this. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Oh, let's know for that. Uh, come on, Joel fails at Minecraft. There we go. Yeah, so like that's a pretty, pretty cool looking bridge. I don't know if I like how far out it goes, but we'll have to sort out. These could eventually be like posts. It just depends on how much space we need to get to go through. Um, so over here, here I guess we can just hide water underneath these. So one, two, three, four. Again, it, like it just, it gets you almost as far as you want it to go, which is tricky. Although we're going to have to have some sort of fence around here too, aren't we? So where do I want this to connect? I feel like this thing is right in the way. Sorry for all the jumping. I'm going to have to grab my other tools. Yeah, so it's going to connect like right here. Something like this. Give or take, uh, which means that there's going to have to be something kind of like right, right at this part, like a railing or something to kind of give it a border. So I feel like this is going to get pushed back to there. So we could just put water underneath that and that should cover this whole thing. Uh, let's just put it underneath something like this for now. We can always figure the details out later. So that should be that all taken care of. And then this is easy because this we can just put water source underneath this. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm one short. That's annoying. Well, I guess one of these could also be, could also be a log. Yes, I think this will work. Yep. So do that. And these are just going to be the same sort of fence decorations that we've got elsewhere. Uh, like these things there and this thing over here, that sort of stuff. I'm not really too worried about the details right now. And we can always put a water source underneath that if we needed to. I think that's good. I don't know how I, how I feel about this one sticking out though. Threes and then twos. Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Wasn't my shovel, but I don't care.
Okay. Let's get out of here before we start spawning friends. It's the only problem about expanding this wheat field is that once you start working on it and you're more than 24 blocks away from stuff, it starts to get hairy. Hmm, I ran all the way back over here to go to bed. That is, oh man. <laughs> I'm just so used to the bit, the bed being in that specific spot, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we can just start planting some of this to at least see how it's going to look. Going to have to get a lot more seeds, but that's fine. I've got tons. So for the water over here, this section, I know we can just put water underneath some of these blocks here. So if this has water underneath of it, then we'll get like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all the way to there. So I think maybe just this one. I mean, really, we could just put water underneath most of these and it'll be fine. We don't have to be so precious about where we put it. There goes, there goes the hoe. Actually, you know what? If I don't have a diamond hoe already, I'm gonna go make one. I'm getting tired of going through these, these things like crazy. Maybe I should just go enchant, like get like a, an unbreaking diamond hoe. I think that would be hilarious. Yeah, I don't have, so I have an iron hoe. So we'll use this until it's gone. Let's, Silk touch. Hmm. I should really go mend my shovel too. I thought I had more shovels. Well, this I can switch, no problem. We're going to need more um, seeds anyway. Oh, my stone box is over here. I was like, where's my stone? It's gravel. Okay, so none of this stuff can go away in here. quick trip. Let's go through the nether. Been flying a lot. Excuse me. Mm. I guess that means the chunks are gonna have to load again when we come back up, but whatever. This is a really boring nether tunnel. I really need to spruce this up a bit. This is always really slow to load, or it has been since Optifine. Wow, that's crazy. Pre-release 5 for Optifine is not as good as pre-release 4, in my opinion. I mean, we're talking about a, a free, <laughs> you know, a, a free mod that I don't support, so I'm not complaining too loudly, but, you know. Uh, leave some... I guess that doesn't have to be two stacks. Oak leaves, string. Don't think I need more dirt. 
least top up the stack. Grab some of these. Why do I have a furnace in my inventory? Where did that come from? Weird. Uh, hopefully this isn't too boring on stream. Uh, oh, shovel. That's one of the things I came down here for. Efficiency for mending, unbreaking, but not silk touch. That's better than nothing. So this has got everything but mending. Maybe we'll use that instead. I got another iron hoe here too. These are just space fillers. I have 31 levels. You know what? Let's try it. Let's see what an enchantment is going to be on a diamond hoe for fun. How do you even make one? Is it three sticks and one diamond? No, two diamonds. Two whole diamonds. Jeez. tricky part is going to be they're real similar looking my my diamond texture is not not blue so they're close they're different a little bit different but but they're really close like there's the there's the iron hoe and that's the diamond hoe so let's find out hopefully it's a good enchant unbreaking three i will take it there So now we can put that away, and when these two iron hoes are done, then we can upgrade. Let's see what this little water flow thing looks like from above. That's not bad. It's a little bit straight. We could have maybe snaked it around a little bit more. Could have brought it farther over we had the room, it would have been maybe better to snake it over this way, because this is a pretty straight line. Could have gone that way with it. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that's what we should do before I start planting wheat. Maybe we should think about taking this the other direction. Hmm, like maybe it comes out over here. Then we got to do the same thing with the water sources and stuff. So like that has to be a source and where do we want this to drop? it one more forward I think I guess we could always leave it split like this that could be another option too I think we're gonna have to block this off just so I can see what's going on yeah one more bucket of water I think
Yeah, so that's weird. Yeah, I'm hoping that the diamond hole lasts a long time. I'm just tired of making the darn things. They're getting out into a build and having to remake them. Uh, let's just pop up here. I don't think I want to land. I just want to take a look. Yes, I like that better. I don't know if I necessarily want to cover the other one up. Yes, I do. So we will do this. So that should help. Uh, and anything we lose over there, we can just use water underneath the, the ledge to pick things up. To sleep. Uh, bed is over here. Oops. Thank you for the reminder about the bed. Much appreciated. I'll probably only make that mistake a couple more times before I catch on, but I'm sure it'll happen. So now we've got an extra. No! I did not even see that guy. Did you see him? Not even close. Uh, I think that's how I had it. We can now do the traditional reinforcing. <laughs> Anytime you dig in this area, this entire world really, and you go down one level and you run into cobble, you know that it's because a creeper has been in the vicinity. that's the extent of our reach there but we can also start to hide stuff underneath these so one two three four so underneath this one. Oh, i'm out of water that was a weird bug So I think that's coming together. I don't know. Well, now that we've got this, we might actually get a little bit more. I think I might just try to um, irrigate all of this and then just see what stays and what doesn't. see so that's got a water source underneath it so one two three four one two three four that should be all covered there 
And I don't know. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to put like a water source underneath that guy. Be cool to have something here anyway. This is probably going to be like a larger, a larger um, arrangement of, uh, of hay bales and stuff. We could probably do something cool there. Just because from the path. I don't know. Actually, maybe we don't want something big there. We'll see. Yeah, maybe just two. Yeah, I have no idea where that creeper came from. It was like right out of left field. Right out of the blue. So now we run into this issue. So we can, we just can't get water up to the edge here. So I think, I don't know whether to move the edge of the path out, and make life a little bit easier because we're gonna need one, two, three, four. So it has to be kind of like one of these blocks, probably this one actually. And maybe, although that's kind of in line, I thought it could be like a jack-o'-lantern, but I don't want to have them too, too close together. So maybe we can move it. Three, four, back here maybe? That could help. Because this is going to be a hay bale. I'll put a light on this just so that we remember to turn it into, into a jack-o'-lantern. Because that'll take care of those. So two, three, four. Ooh, no, it won't. Just goes to there. So I guess we do have to have something here as well. Hmm. I guess we could maybe have like another little wall or something. Hey, Paranor, how's it going? Yeah, Scarecrow, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. It's less about what I'm putting in, just more like I just don't want to have them all in the line. Like you can see things along here, they kind of line up, and I'm trying to avoid that if I can. Looks like we've got some stuff over here that's not working either. But I think we can put... No, maybe we can't. Those are going to be far away from that for a water source too. So we'll have to put something over there. Definitely, I'd say probably another jack-o'-lantern would probably be what we want over here. I thought that the source underneath here would get it, but I guess it's just at a range. So I'm going to say maybe that is going to end up being a jack-o'-lantern, or maybe one behind it. Yeah, I think that'll work. You really can't see them once they're all uh, hidden by um, by wheat. You know, like there's a couple over here, like you can just barely see them. You know, there's one there too. Okay, so, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. But I guess this could also be like a jack-o'-lantern territory here. So maybe here, like that. And then I'll have to figure out what I'm doing along here as well.
Now this part's going to be easy. Because I think, whoops, I think we're going to do, going to do temporary path. It's going to end up being probably wood or something. And maybe not quite that far over. Yeah, so then these will be these will be wheat. So one, two, three, four. How's Paranor doing today? Oops, wrong tool. Can I still do this? Yes, perfect. So I run into the same problem with stuff out here not being able to be hided. One, two, three, four. So it has to be like here, I guess. I never thought I could have made this more pumpkin-y. Like there could be just more pumpkins in general up this area. It just could make it more of a pumpkin patch than more wheat. Never thought about that. Maybe that's what I should do. Because you could just hide. You could just hide um, water underneath all the pumpkins. Mining diamonds in a cold and dreary Nova Scotia day. Did I not know that you're from Nova Scotia, Paranor? Like, am I behind on that? I feel like I did not realize this. Pumpkin patches are in fashion in October. I will give you that. I will give you that. You mentioned it a few times, probably. Sorry. I will hopefully remember from here on. Uh, jack-o'-lanterns are where? Maybe in one of the other boxes? <laughs> nice. <laughs> sorry that you're sorry. Very Canadian. Ah, there we go. 11 jack-o'-lanterns. I'm going to put these jack-o'-lanterns in and then I'm going to take a short break, but uh, still going to stream. I'm just going to take a quick stretch. Oh, I wish there was a way to prevent squid from spawning. Because that looks dumb. So dumb. Okay, so I need more water. Too much dirt. Wait a minute. I have to put... I think you still have to put jack-o'-lanterns on top of stuff. Can't really remember. Uh, let's face it this way. Has that changed in 1.13? Can you just place pumpkins like on the side of blocks now? There's that. And this one. Yes.
blue glass separating water layers in the river. I don't quite know what you mean. I think I said this had to be a pumpkin too, didn't it? Or a jack-o'-lantern. Oh goodness, come on, here we go. Uh, which way do I wanna face this one? I guess this way too. That was going to be a hay bale, I think. And that still leaves this chunk here. That's not going to work either. We're going to have to come up with something easier or better for this particular section. We might have to move this like one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we might have to move this back here somewhere. I think that will work, I think. I just don't have any hay bales on me. Why is this? Okay, I think most of that's working. Does it actually come together a lot faster than I thought it was going to, which is good. I'm just going to pop down in here for a second for a quick break, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 